These are not shrimp. Uh, this is chicken. Majors, welcome back to my channel. What's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppington? We're gonna do a few days in my life. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Breland. Make sure you guys subscribe. Don't judge my hair, looking kinda crazy. We're gonna do it later. <laughs> um, subscribe, ring the bell the way you don't miss a notification for me, and follow me on my social media at Breland.hunt. So today is Thursday. The week has been going by so fast. Um, where do I even start to update you guys? So basically, it is the week after my finals, so I am like resting and getting my life together and I don't know, just kind of like honestly vibing and chilling and just, just flowing. Yesterday, actually, I did start vlogging. I had a very busy day. Well, it wasn't that busy, but unfortunately, I ended up having a meeting with the admissions team at Meharry. If you guys don't know, I just finished my finals for the Meharry Medical College Master of Health Science program, which is a pre-matriculation program into their medical school. And there's just so much going on right now because we are in the infamous and the inevitable waiting season of hearing if I'll get an interview from them and um, ultimately accepted into their medical school. Long story short, this is a contractual program. A lot of people, a lot of people DM me and they ask me like, is it a guarantee? It's not a guarantee. I had to get a certain score on my MCAT. I had to keep a certain GPA. And then I also have to like do well in the interview in order to get accepted into the medical school. I did not meet the contract. Breaking news. Um, I haven't shared what my MCAT score was and I mentioned that I probably never will but it did go well like I did do better on my MCAT this time than I previously did my score improved a lot I was very much so proud of my score um, but it wasn't the score that I needed for the Harry specifically so I'm in an interesting position where I could get an invite because now it's basically like on a rolling basis. It's a lot going on. I will rewind back to the meeting yesterday. Even if you did extremely well, you probably will not um, experience getting into medical school here because our cycle really has moved forward. Now let me tell you what the opportunity is um, if you make a 503 or greater, the opportunity is to apply for early decision next year. So I just don't think it's going to get you anywhere. Okay. Thank you. If you if you're studied and ready, if your practice scores, I think you'll get into this cycle. Now I will tell you, maybe a couple more will um, get in. Our competitive scores this year, and please listen carefully, y'all, was a 3.2 or greater in the science GPA and a 500 or greater on the MCAT. Now, if you're not in the contract group, you're competing. You're competing with the rest of the group. And I don't want to, I'm not, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not trying to dash hopes. We even built a longer waiting list than we have. Like, you're, you're just like anybody else that applies. And that's, that's as, about as clear as I get it. It's not two tiers of MHS. It's either you met that contract or you're in with everybody else. And so basically, it was all a lie. It was all a lie, it was all a lie. This whole time, we thought we still had a really good chance of getting in, even if we didn't have the contract score and that we were treated differently as MHS students. And honestly, that, that meeting was just a slap in the face where one of the admissions directors was basically just like, yeah, that's not true. That's not how it worked. If you have any other medical school options, you should take those and you shouldn't count on getting into our medical school this year. Um, 
so how do you guys think i feel about hearing that news not not great right not great of course we're keeping the faith but um i'm i'm trying to like get my feelings and my mind together it's a really hard balance between planning for what could be next when things aren't going according to plan but also like keeping faith that like things are going to work out exactly the way that god wants them to work out um and all the emotions that come along with all of that so just pray for me honestly and like i tell you guys don't ask me no questions because i don't know i'm over here floating i've got literally like a month until graduation a little bit less than a month now it's like the 26th of april today so i have a little bit less than a month where i'm just out here willy-nilly and i guess i'm about to start maybe applying to jobs maybe i literally don't know life comes at you fast it hits you hard it's pretty crazy um but i'm trusting in god and i will update you guys when everything comes along together but I, I've been kind of having anxiety about how exactly to share in the moment when it's like I don't like to speak illy over my situation in the moment. Um, I only want to speak with faith. So anyway, that's basically a gist of what happened yesterday. And with that, I wasn't feeling well. I'm also not feeling well today. Um, but now it's kind of like in congestion wise, which is weird because I don't have allergies. What's going on? But I think I'm going to make myself some tea after I hop on this meeting, which is about to happen right now. But um, I wanted to also share with you guys how yesterday I did this really nice Instagram live. So I'll show you guys that. So I'm about to do a quick beat. I was really contemplating. I'm like, do I even want to do makeup at all? I had so many plans for today. Um, I literally was gonna get full glam and take my own headshots for future use before this hair, cause this hair is getting expired. Like I need to wash it, y'all know my scalp be itchy. <laughs> if you guys are new here and you didn't see my last vlog, definitely make sure you check it out. But the hair is from um, Heat Free Hair. You guys have been harassing me about it on Instagram. I had to make a post about that today. I was like, dang, can we get some DM etiquette? Like when people DM you, they won't even be like, hey, Breelin, good morning, how are you? You just wake up to stuff being like, hair details, question mark, question mark, question mark. You're like, dang, who are you? Like, I don't even know who you are. And you're just in my DMs demanding answers. Yeah, I didn't roll up my hair last night either. I just put on a bonnet and slept on it. So we're not even really starting from a good place, but yeah, I really should. I'm just kind of all over the place today, you guys. Uh, you know when you're just having one of those days and I like I need to snap out of it so because I don't feel good if I don't put makeup on I'm really gonna have a not a nasty attitude but I'm not gonna be my best during the zoom interview so let me give you guys some details about what I'm about to do so I'm really I like it when people ask me to do Instagram lives because it's like mini interviews and I don't really get on Instagram live a lot because it always feels like, you know, you have to go on there if you have something to talk about, which you don't have to, but it's helpful. Um, and normally when I'm getting ready, I either like to have those moments for myself. I don't know. We'll see. Let me know if you guys actually like Instagram lives. I may just try and use the times in the future where I get ready to film TikToks. Who knows? Life of a content creator. There's a million platforms that I could be on. <laughs> It's like you really just can't sit. My hair looks a mess. You really can't just sit and leisurely do your makeup anymore. Anyway, there is this woman named Tanisha and she is creating a documentary called The English Way. Um, and it is a documentary of the life of a doctor named Dr. English. Now what's really, really cool and synchronistic about her is that she is a Meharry Medical College graduate and an OBGYN who was a really big like women's health advocate and you know just doctor physician for women's health um in the new york area i'm not even explaining the half of like all the amazing things that she did but basically kind of her story is being erased in history and so this documentary is gonna kind of bring it to light and show how much of a pillar of how much of a pillar she was to black women and women of color when it comes to the birthing community, being a birth worker, um, health care, health equity, all these things. So they are interviewing different people to attention to the documentary and kind of just improve knowledge, awareness, and to start the conversation. And so she reached out to me because obviously as 
a future OBGYN and a Meharry, soon to be Meharry graduate, it's like I am Dr. English's wildest dream. I'm like continuing the legacy that she has built. And so they reached out to me to basically do this interview to kind of speak about where we're currently at in birth equity. If you guys didn't know that I'm a women's health advocate and I have my own community organization, women's health initiative called Birth Equity for All, definitely visit our website and follow us on Instagram at birth equity, the number four all, because it's a really important topic that we discuss how to end maternal mortality. And that's a lot of the work that I do in my free time on my way to becoming Dr. Berlin. It's one of the things that I want to, you know, combat as a doctor, as an OBGYN. But until then, I do it in the community spaces. So things like this, having conversations raises awareness. And I'm really glad that these two things were able to kind of like collide. It's pretty cool. I'm like very excited about it. But I don't know how it's going to be feeling like this today. <laughs> now that the day has come, I'm like, mm, man. I just had so many things that I wanted to do today. And I think I'm just going to scratch the day. I mean, I don't know. I still need to make dinner or else I literally won't eat. <laughs> um, I have laundry going, so... I might as well at least finish all of it and maybe I'll put it away tomorrow. Yeah, that meeting just really took out all the good energy that I had today. You can't stay down for long, but you can take a moment every now and then. I also just don't feel well. Something is like wrong with my stomach. At first, like as soon as I was getting ready to sit down on the call this morning or this afternoon, my stomach started to hurt and I thought oh this must be like I think this is my anxiety manifesting and it doesn't normally manifest with my stomach hurting but I could just tell I'm like this is like you're nervous because of this and I don't I didn't know that I had to be nervous before the call actually which is like the sad part I thought it was going to be a good call and then we got on the call and I was like maybe there was a reason why I was nervous finished the call and then um I got on the phone with my Spellman sister and we were kind of just talking about how disheartening the call was and I was like oh my gosh like my stomach hurts so bad and then I realized oh I haven't eaten today <laughs> like I actually didn't take a moment to eat because or I did eat I ate breakfast but by that point after the meeting and after talking to her it was like 3 30 I'm like I'm so off my schedule now that you know finals are over we're not in school we don't have to like go back to class at a certain time so I was like oh my gosh I realized that I you know it's lunchtime I'm supposed to eat lunch at 1 and it's 3 30 so I need to eat I ate and my stomach just still doesn't feel better so I just don't I just don't feel good and like at first it did feel like oh you're hungry pain but now it kind of feels like it's going back and forth between like your hungry pain and uh like nauseous like I feel like I'm gonna throw up um and that's why I feel like it's anxiety because it's like I've I barely eaten enough to throw up, so I don't know. <sighs> okay, I'm all over the place. I decided last minute I should probably change my shirt <laughs> so that I look a little bit more put together. And then I made up my bed because I decided, okay, I want to have it in here. So this bed can be the background. I literally feel sick to my stomach. Um, my makeup didn't turn out good. That does suck. Oh my god, it just isn't hitting right. Oh, I forgot that I was going to give you guys a haul of the things that I bought from Sephora. So I can do that after this. I need to actually pick up my packages. We can cook dinner together. I should really meal prep breakfast like I've been wanting to do. Like, what is it? Doesn't that suck when you don't know what it is? Like, what is it that's making me look not cute this is like puke green why do i own a puke green shirt okay i need to stop being so mean to myself i'm gonna get on this instagram live you got to get on your zoom every day <laughs> 10 a.m you've got to get on zoom that's what i look like <laughs> at this point it's the best i could do i wish i could keep this filter on i don't look too bad with the filter but in real life when the first black female OBGYN is in the state of New York to open a practice, and she did great work for the community. So we're highlighting individuals who have that same tenacity and commitment to their community. And Miss Breland Hunt is the girl of the evening. Very full circle. It's amazing to know that I'm like following in her footsteps in this amazing way. And that's why I'm so glad that you reached out to me for this conversation. 
Yeah, you were literally the first person we reached out to. Like, we <laughs> literally were going through the tag for equity, and your amazing picture popped up with the, <laughs> ed- the vibrancy and the pink. And I was like, what's going on here? Uh-huh. So, like, I saw my Harry and literally emailed you immediately. You were wow. the first person we talked to. And ironically, you're the last person who are, who's ending out the segment for this season. Oh, I love um, that. We want to finish strong. I love a good tail. Okay. That honestly made me feel a lot better. I love Tanisha so much. She is such a light and she was just gassing me up, honey. Um, so that was really fun. I'm glad that like that got me in a better mood because that was eight o'clock though and I have to cook dinner. So I literally have lamb chops. So bougie. I know. So bougie. But I think I'm going to what do I wanna do? Um, I'm gonna change back into my sweatshirt, go down and get my package from the concierge and then start cooking dinner am i gonna meal prep my breakfast today i really don't feel like it but if i just don't get it done like it just won't get done it's not that hard i just don't feel like cooking at all like do i just want to have a salad for dinner and maybe i'll just start over tomorrow I, you know what i think i'm just gonna eat a salad for dinner and go to bed because i'm not being nice to myself and the more i like talk out loud and like force myself to do stuff i'm gonna continue to like not be nice so i'm gonna leave on my high that i just had on my instagram live and eat a salad and go to bed and we will try again tomorrow all right so i think you guys are all caught up on what's been going on here the past couple of days monday i went to alternate that was tuesday today is wednesday i just finished making breakfast and then after i finish this meeting i'm going to make these egg white bites i told you guys i made them one time but i didn't vlog that day unfortunately so oh guys look i made me some chocolate chip cookies i love chocolate chip cookies today i'm gonna go to the gym after this meeting and we're gonna wash this hair um i haven't worked out because my hair has been straight. My hair has reached its last leg. So I'm gonna go work out and then I can wash my hair. And then since we're working out, we're also gonna get back into eating clean. But yeah, um, this is what I have so far for my egg white bites. I have, wow. These are both regular eggs and egg whites along with some cuts of pepper. And I'm gonna put it in this and put it in the oven. I just looked up the recipe. I believe it's supposed to be like for 20 minutes at 350. So I am going to do that after I do this meeting. I think I also want to add some spinach to the egg white bites. <clears throat> Y'all didn't see that. <laughs> so you guys how I'm trying to cut down on the cheese or specifically, actually, I need my other laptop. I'm trying to cut out eating as much dairy if I can. So I didn't want to put cheese in the egg white bites, even though I'm sure that would make it really, really good. I don't even think I've had professional egg white bites. Like I don't go to Starbucks enough to eat them, but that's neither here nor there. Um, I've made them once before and I like them, but I made them in like a, a specific like egg white bite cooker this time, but you can only do four at a time with those. So this time I'm going to do, oh, I'm so glad. This is why I make all the clocks in my house faster <laughs> than what the time really is because I've been running late every time and now I'm right on time. <laughs> it's really crazy to be talking to this brand like this, but um, I will hop back on once I'm done this meeting and we can make these egg white bites together. Hi, good, how are you doing? Okay, meeting went good. Uh, I'm ready to, to wash my hair. Like I'm sick of looking like this. One thing I will brag about, honey, I don't have no allergies. I don't wear glasses, no contacts, no asthma. Child, I'll just be out here living my best life. However, comma, okay. <laughs> For some reason, my throat is like on fire and I don't like that. So I'm just chopping up some of the spinach right now to add into my little concoction. And then we're gonna put this in the oven, which has literally been preheating for a while now, so it's gonna be nice and hot for us. <sighs> I do not feel like going to the gym. It's always hard when you take some time off to get back. I'm like, I'm excited to go, but I'm also like tired and kind of just wanna like lay down for a bit. But uh, maybe, maybe I'll just, just watch one good YouTube video and then I'll get up and go. You know, just a little. This is, that's how it all starts, right? Okay. I feel like this is probably way too much actually for like 12 of these, but okay, let's see. Ooh. 
And the key is that you don't want to fill it up all the way, but like, like a third. It don't even look like eggs for real. It looks like a little juice. gonna be so great because I've been so lazy recently obviously like without having to wake up at a certain time I'm just like lollygagging lollygagging what Breland I'm lollygagging and taking my time like to get up and get myself ready in the morning and like literally skipping breakfast and then being like oh I haven't eaten today and I really don't want to get like too off of my schedule but I'm also like you deserve to rest oh this is probably not even enough for all 12 isn't that crazy um, but yeah, giving myself some time to rest and recoup from a season of hard work and I'm also trying to like treat myself. It's an interesting, it's so interesting. I'm like, yeah, it's very interesting. Perfect. So that was just about perfect enough for all 12 of these. I didn't measure it. I decided to add the sausage afterwards. So I'm just going to sprinkle some of these in to each one. Cause I didn't want it to, these kind of like sink to the bottom and I wanted to make sure that there was like enough sausage in each egg cup. Cause last time I made it, I did realize that like some of them had like a lot of sausage and then some of them didn't have any sausage because they sunk to the bottom. And then like when you poured the whole thing, like some of them just got egg white and some of them got, you know what I'm saying? So this is just my little, enjoy my tutorial, okay? Learn from me, <laughs> Chef Breland. So, okay. She's ready. Eee, how exciting. She's going in. And we're gonna put the timer on for 18 minutes. Ugh. And we're gonna wait to do the dishes until afterwards. In the meantime, we're gonna lay down and watch a YouTube video. <laughs> All right, let's get it. I'm up. <laughs> About to get ready to go to the gym pre-workout. Pack my bag right now. Ow. My shoe just fell on my foot. <laughs> I was like a struggle trying to get this hair back. And honestly, I don't know why. I'm like nervous, but I'm not nervous. I feel like I'm like, oh, I'm going back after having been there for a while. Honestly, it hasn't been that long. I think it's been like a week. I've gone longer, so I'll be okay. But I definitely want to have some pre-workout just to make sure. <laughs> and I'm so excited to wash my hair afterwards because Dang, my scalp, I, I literally can't go this long without washing my hair. It's crazy. My scalp is just so bad and it's flaking. Oh, I didn't show you guys my egg white bites. They came out great. I'll show you them tomorrow. Um, also, another thing, I don't know why. I don't think that you're supposed to wear waist trainers and I understand my influence. So that's why I don't speak about <laughs> that I have waist trainers on. I don't link them. I know people ask me about them. Um, I just feel like I'm gonna do this for me. During the pandemic, I wore this waist trainer working out of my mom's garage and I saw a significant difference in the way that my back was slimmed out and snatched versus the way that my back is slimmed out and snatched now, even though I'm doing the same workout. So I decided, cause I started wearing them and I stopped. Like the past time, this past like active spurt, I haven't been wearing my waist trainer while working out because I think that it does impact the way, you can even hear the way that I breathe. I'm not like taking deep breaths from the diaphragm and like that will impact your workout, the way that you breathe, all those bad things. So I wanted to stop wearing it during my workouts but now I feel like I'm not seeing the same results. So I put it back on and I have a different waist trainer that I bought specifically to wear around the house that's like a clean waist trainer. This is like the one that I sweat in. Um, so that one is from Amazon. I'm not gonna link it because I don't, I'm not telling you to wear a waist trainer around the house. But I just was in the mindset of like, if I'm literally in the house all day, I'm in school virtually, I'm working out every day eating salads, like, girl, put a waist trainer on while you're sitting on Zoom for two hours. You know what I'm saying? Just to like, why not? But I'm not saying that you have to do this. It's just me. I get, I'm in the mindset of like, I want to see how far I can push my body to get in the best shape of my life because I have all the resources to do so. So anyway, I'm going to see if I can make it through a workout with the waist trainer on. Um, sometimes it gets uncomfortable because it has boning in it, but 
we'll see. And um, if I can get through it, I may, I'll come back and I'll update you guys on if I feel like it makes a difference in how I feel like my stomach is snatched or not. But we're working on some abs, so maybe this will help. I always feel like, all right, all right. I guess they're telling me to shut up. So we're going, oh, I need lip balm. Can't go without, mm -mm. there's nothing worse than your lips being dry <laughs> while you working out. Ooh, it'd be so annoying. Okay, 5.30. So let's hope it's not too packed in there and I can get my 10 pound weights because y'all know I'm a little weakly. We're not trying to get strong. Honestly, I don't want to be strong. I want to be snatched. the shower because I just washed it you guys have been giving me absolute madness on Instagram trying to figure out not trying to figure out because I told you guys in the vlog where the hair was from but y'all was coming for my neck so I want to make sure I update you guys this is what the hair looks like freshly washed I shampooed conditioned it and then just put in a couple of products this is the product that I use on my natural curly hair and I normally don't use the same products on my weave but honestly this is like it's like <laughs> kind of the same texture as my hair like it definitely is like a tighter kinkier curl than like the normal like it's not brazilian like it's definitely like a kinky curl again this is from heat free hair this is a u-part unit and it matches really really well so i just laid it down and i'm gonna wrap it up for the night but i want to show you guys before and it's so long and pretty like it's so so nice so um 
this is definitely gonna be like my new vacation hair because it's just so easy. Um, I can't wait to see. It's probably gonna get really, really big though. And I kind of like it when it's like drenched like this, like get into it, it's so pretty. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up though. That way I can cook dinner and go to sleep. But um, I want to show you guys what it looked like fresh and then we'll also look at it tomorrow. And again, if you guys are interested in the hair, I'll have it linked down below. It's from Heat Free Keenan and Kel. I used to, oh, I dropped my fork. I used to love this show. It's my new like cooking show, like comfort show, you know, just to put on because I already know like kind of everything that's gonna happen. Um, even though it's only the first two seasons and I remember watching them, but watching them now as an adult, I really can't remember everything. So anyway, talk to you guys tomorrow. I want you to breathe me. Let me roam your body freely No inhibition, no fear How deep is your love? Is it like the ocean? What devotion are you? How deep is your love? Is it like Nirvana? Hit me harder again How deep is your love? sore is anybody else like that you know it makes you feel like okay I did the work and especially after not going to the gym for a couple of weeks now I'm like yeah I did that my body is sore cuz I put in the work and uh, we're getting stronger anyway good morning um, I've had a very productive morning so far I told you guys that after I finished school I was gonna start reading so and also something I talked about I talked to my Spelman sister about this yesterday but during this like in between time before graduation post semester um and these are gonna be like future vlogs as well i definitely want to a like really enjoy life enjoy the city that i live in enjoy the weather enjoy spring um enjoy my own company and like not rush like waiting 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 like for something to happen but like enjoying the moment and enjoying like what this season can give me so certain things like you know, sometimes in the morning time, there's only so much time that you can like usually have on your devotional if you do in the morning time before you like have to get up and start your day. So I'm really just like sitting in, okay, like being in my word, being in my Bible and like not having a time limit on my devotional. The same thing yesterday when it comes to stretching, like sometimes, you know, you may be like, okay, I have a meeting at this time or like I have to get back up to study or like get back up to whatever. It's like just taking my time with things because I don't have any like time restraints right now so making sure that I was like stretching and then I went out and I sat um by the pool that's one thing big red flag <laughs> off topic but I wish my pool was open 365 it's not gonna open up until Memorial Day and that's like a month away but either way just living in the moment trying to take um things slowly and not being in a rush because there is no rush to right now. I'm literally just vibing. So I put away my gro my groceries. I put away my laundry, which you guys know is my kryptonite. So I feel very good about myself. Oh, and this is what the hair looks like dried. 
very nice very beautiful like it's so perfect it's like the perfect thickness it's the perfect like curls because it's like they're not too kinky to where you feel like you have to like you know do like that but they're also not so loose that your hair doesn't like naturally just blend in with it it's so cute i'm about to change into you guys know my uniform but i wanted to do this try on haul for you guys so i figured that oh, i thought i wasn't recording for a second child i was about to um I'm going to quickly show you guys what I got last week when same thing as I was getting into this mindset of like just like relax and enjoy yourself. Um, I went shopping after church because like normally I'm like okay after church I have to go grocery shopping I have to come back I have to meal prep I have to do what like and I'm like there's no pr like there's no rush there's no pressure so like let me just take a Sunday and stroll and so I went into Zara they had some really cute things there's something that I saw in H&M and I low-key left it and now I'm like oh I should have gotten it it was like this really cute skirt I really like the skirt I just didn't like the color but I'm like you know what I low-key would want that skirt in like every color so maybe I should just go back and get it I'm sure I'll do more shopping soon but um let me show you guys what I got from Zara so this is the first thing here oh this is actually from H&M this first thing which I told you guys about in the last vlog it's just a really cute like yellow top and this came in a lot of different colors I mainly just picked it up because it was $12 so it's like okay this is definitely something that I can easily throw on like I told you guys in the previous vlog I I originally had it in the blue color it was like a cobalt blue but I wear blue so often and I actually just don't like the color blue but like blue looks good on me and like things come in blue so I just decided to get yellow because I'm like well I'm sure I could use more yellow tops even though literally when I was putting away my laundry I saw like this yellow outfit I'll literally try it on for you guys and I was like oh this is such a cute outfit like it was a top that I got from Zara that I still haven't worn <laughs> But I'm like, okay, like this is on my to-do list of like next time I have somewhere to go, like I'm gonna wear this outfit. Um, and I paired it with like this yellow skirt. I love a good monochromatic look. I could probably even try this top on with that skirt too. The yellows may be off, but I love a good monochromatic look. I did that a lot in the fall and winter, and I want to try and bring that into the spring and summer if I can. Wow, I'm talking a lot. <laughs> the point is that. I like this top and I decided to get it in yellow instead of blue. Okay, this is the outfit I was talking about. This top is actually from Express. I don't have on a bra on with it and I feel like I would, but I just love the top and I feel like it's so cute for springtime because it's like a sweater material, but it's very like, it like, it just feels good and it also feels lightweight. And then I paired it with this skirt, which I don't know if you guys can see in the mirror behind me. You can't see it, but it has like these ruffles on the bottom of the skirt as well. So I don't know. I'm like, are the yellows too far off I added this belt to it to kind of you know add a little bit of pizzazz now you guys are crooked but just wanted to show you guys the outfit that I was thinking of comment down below I, I think it's so girly and pretty and just gives like all the spring vibes I don't know I think it's cute I got these really nice shorts I have these orange shorts that I wore last summer and I just really like the outfit that I put together with it it was still like classy but like it's hot outside and sometimes it is more comfortable to wear shorts instead of this is from Zara by the way shorts instead of a skirt so let's hope this fits I got these in a size large um, and they were $39 so and to go with this thing I really liked about the Zara trip is that I low-key like created outfits so this can go together if you guys notice I really like solid I don't like to wear a lot of prints because sometimes like I look back on me wearing prints and it gives me the ick like I give myself the ick like why are you wearing like daisies and I and, like sometimes it can be beautiful and it can be feminine but sometimes I feel like it's not timeless and it makes you not enjoy an outfit as much as you would if it was just like a simple like I like color it's a hard balance but um there are some times that I do like prints and this is one of them I feel like this is just so pretty I love the fact that it is a bodysuit because you guys know I don't like to show my stomach um I don't think it's see-through but if it is I can wear like a bodysuit underneath of it but I don't think it's see-through so I really like how it's mesh mesh gives me like spring and summer like it gives like breathable um and it's just like really pretty and I think like the back like the back is out which is nice but like the front you can't see through this and this this is a great summer spring outfit like put this on with some heels like I just think this is so pretty and it's like colorful but it's still like classy I just I was like oh this is so cute so this top is um, $27 let me show you guys the codes for these because you really can't link things from Zara it's like impossible to find what you're looking for so I'll just show you guys the code for each thing 
and then you can type it in yourself if you want to if you want to purchase it guys what is going on like why do i have a little bit of congestion allergies today like that's not like me next pair of bottoms that i got can go with the next two pieces that i got really my score era i feel like the last three zara hauls that i did i've gotten scores because they're just really comfortable and they're practical so these are the ones that are like shorts in the back and a skirt in the front i do love the ones that are like a skirt all around and you don't know that they're shorts those are the best but i mean these are still really cute and i like them because they're kind of like an eggshell color they're kind of white like you know they're like an off-white but they also kind of look yellow so i got these in the size large and low-key i may need a medium so we'll see if they're too big or not but here's the code for them and you can see they were 40 dollars. and again because they kind of have like this yellow tint to them i thought it would look really cute with this next top that i got which is yellow see how with this like i would have worn this like on easter even though this is like too short to wear to church but it just gives me spring vibes this shirt is very similar to the other one except for it's not a bodysuit and i believe i thought it was one shoulder is it one shoulder very similar to the last top i like that it kind of like has this uh I don't know what you would call it kind of like a cloud detail to it where it's just very ever so slightly like not just yellow i also really like the fact that it's kind of like a lighter yellow so it just feels very approachable and then perfect for the season and i just think it looks really really pretty and i think it would look really nice with this as a short like this for a summer outfit again very cute and practical to wear and i could also wear this with like some long white pants and wear that to church in the middle of the summer as well here's the code for this last item that i got i think i thought that this had straps to it but i guess it was on a hanger like this and it's actually strapless which i mean i'm not mad at it's like a ruched bodysuit i just love a good bodysuit i thought it was like you know just bold and really pretty hopefully this fits me well i got it in a size small and again this with like this it's like bright oh my battery's about to die but just really pretty so um i tried all this stuff on for you guys so that you can see it on the side Here's the code for this. I'm gonna change my battery and then we can move by the vanity and do our Sephora haul. And I'll show you guys what I got during the VIB sale. Okay, we're changed and ready for the day. Hope you guys enjoyed that try on haul. Let's get into the Sephora. Now I didn't do too much. I didn't do too much. Honestly, I just got a couple of things. Let me start with the thing that I didn't go in there for. I was like trying to see like maybe I'll get some perfume because it is a sale. You guys know I'm trying to do better with my perfume collection, but they're just so expensive and I just can never bring myself to get anything. So I was like, I need to smell something, fall in love with it, stop, like can't stop thinking about it. And then I'll go back and purchase it. And I think that's what this is going to be. Y'all, the Burberry Her. Oh my gosh. Oh, the mini is so cute. <laughs> oh, I can barely smell right now. What's going on? Yeah, it's just like, just like sweet. And it gives like spring floral girly i really like her up in here we'll do something boring next i got a repurchase of the fenty sun stalker wait a minute yeah oh i was like is that what it's called yes the bronzer i'm in the shade coco naughty and i basically hit pan on it i think this is one of my first products that i got from fenty because i was late on the fenty gang and um i really like it this is what it looks like so pretty oh i love new makeup but we're gonna keep her in the drawer until that one is absolutely empty i actually do want to try the one from mac they just came out with bronzers as well um i don't mind having two so next time i go to either ulta or somewhere where there's a mac counter i will definitely look to see if i can find a shade that i like okay first makeup by mario product soft sculpt shaping stick i just feel like i see everybody using these and i just wanted to try something from him too i really don't need another foundation right now or concealer i really liked his like lip products that he had where they're kind of like a lip plumping it's like a gloss and then like a tinted something but they didn't have the shade that i wanted so i have my notifications on and i'm going to purchase it as soon as it's in stock but love the sleek packaging and i'm going to use this as my oh i forgot this comes with a brush on the side put that back in there i haven't i've seen that people don't really like the brush so i don't know if i'll use it but this ooh, nice and chocolatey honey yes it's gonna be my contour now the contour that i currently use cannot lie to you nothing wrong oh I forgot that y'all was on there. <laughs> My bad. 
um cannot lie to you there's absolutely nothing wrong with the contour that i currently use it has lasted me honestly years it's probably expired but doesn't matter it's by black opal if you want a drugstore version this one is amazing i believe they sell black opal at target this is their stick foundation and i'm in the shade black walnut i can barely even read what it says but literally i have had this for years and i still have so much left i think that this one is maybe a little bit darker it's giving i just bought the more expensive version but you know i just wanted to treat myself so i decided to get it <laughs> stop trying to explain myself this is a makeup haul i didn't need any of it but i'm excited about it um next thing that i got was another rare beauty blush i really like the one that i currently have in the shade happy so next i got the shade encourage and this is the new one that i got i figured that this would be really nice again for those natural days and probably just look really nice on and just look really nice on my skin tone you see how it's just gonna give like just a little bit of something you know not too much i like it i like it i think that's gonna be really nice oh mm. I guess I don't need this anymore. I mean, I do need it, but I ended up getting the pattern heat protectant because I don't have a heat protectant. I mean, I don't really wear my hair straight that often, but I think I'm gonna wear my hair straight for my graduation. So I just need to stop <laughs> touching up my hair without putting a heat protectant on. Like my curls are going to pop. I don't know if it's good or not. I just, you know, want to support my girl, Tracy. She's like one of my favorite celebrities, black actresses, all the above. So I really haven't bought anything from her natural hair care line because they just don't speak to me. Let me know down below what heat protectant you guys like to use. Oh, this next product I'm really excited about. I hope it does what I want it to do. So basically, every time I have an eyeshadow palette, it doesn't have like the perfect shade. You guys know my old and trusty modern renaissance. It's this shade right here. Because of this color right here, I can do my perfect eyeshadow look with this. I figure that if I could just have a single pan of that kind of color, then I could use different eyeshadow palettes and not be like, oh, this eyeshadow palette sucks because it doesn't have this one color. Now, it looked like it was the right shade in the store, but mm -mm. Ah, it's way too dark. This is what it looks like. Boo. Okay, I don't think they had one that was this shade but I think I can still probably use this one if you're interested this is a matte color and it's called morning sunrise and these are like I think nine dollars and then all the Sephora products all Sephora collection products were like 30 or something percent off so unfortunately I don't think it's exactly what I wanted last product here hopefully I can use this tonight this is the Kiehl's red earth deep pore cleansing mask I got the small version of it because I feel like I never go through all of my masks before they expire or I just get over it and want to try something new and I really just wanted to do a nice like clay mask on my face that can cleanse it out I think I told you guys maybe not I actually scheduled myself a facial and a massage for next week to celebrate the fact that I finished my master's program um, I want to do something that I normally don't do since literally like my hair is done my nails are done my toes are done like what like I kind of already take care of myself so um, I decided to book myself a facial wait that's all that I really got from Sephora not too much but definitely some things that I'm excited about hope you guys enjoyed my haul I'm about to eat lunch and I will check back in with you guys if anything else fun or exciting happens Now we're recording. Okay, hey guys, happy Friday. So I just finished getting ready and now I'm about to get dressed because I don't know if I told you guys or not, we have a really fun, exciting event today. I was invited to the Pretty Little Thing gifting suite. They are here in DC and they invited me. So I'm like, yay, something fun to do. So I just finished doing my makeup and I literally like didn't even shower after the gym yesterday. I was just tired. I literally ate my food and I just sat down on the couch. So had to do like a full everything shower. So I'm like, I need to hurry up. I mean, I'm sure it's no such thing as being late because I called like for a specific time. I need to wash my hand before I touch this white stuff. Um, the problem is that it is pouring down raining outside like it is disgusting and of course like I want to dress up and be cute because I'm sure we're gonna take pictures but 
I don't think that I'm gonna be able to take pictures outside and I don't like pictures inside and I'm like is everything gonna be pink is it gonna be I don't really know what to expect um, so I'm gonna wash my hands and I think I'm gonna do this outfit that I showed you guys from Princess Polly um, but kind of like switch it up with some new pieces that I've got and I'll show you guys once I get dressed y'all I played around with it and it worked out this is the outfit if you remember I showed it to you in some vlog where I did a Princess Polly haul but it's a bit of a different remix so the top is actually from H&M I bought it for like a work top but it works for this we've got the girls out but not too much not too much this little corset is from princess polly and the skirt is from zara actually i'm gonna wear my tried and trusty and true nude heels and um i mean i guess it's good that it's like raining because it's booty weather and i don't know what shoes i would have worn with this if it wasn't for boots i really wanted to like wear some white boots but um it didn't go with this outfit because this is kind of like an off-white top this looks so like cosplay I feel like I literally look like I'm I don't know from the ancient days but I don't know I think it's still really cute this is the final look we did all matte on the face all right let's head out so that we're not too late for our appointment and I believe there is food there it's at the Astoria kitchen so let's go it is raining raining I don't like to go outside when it's raining like this but at least I look cute though that's face sitting. Man, with the blit. Who you with? Who? She like on that gangster. I said she like on that gangster. She yeah. like with the woo. Okay y'all, so just left the event, got my goodies. Luckily, so I'm here in this parking garage which was very close to walking distance. Some cute pieces, I think I may wear one of them for a graduation picture cause it's really cute. And the second one, it's giving me, whew, had a breath a little bit. <laughs> um, like whatever my post-graduation vacation is gonna be. I know, but you guys have to wait and see. So I think I'll probably wear it there. They had this one really, really cute dress that would have been so perfect because it was like a green color. And I was like, oh, if I, oop, here we go. Sometimes the lighting don't wanna act right. Uh, or it doesn't wanna focus when the lighting doesn't act right. But um, it was so cute. And I was like, this would be really, really cute for a graduation picture with like the green tassel. Um, but it was like only a plus size. I was like, dang it, okay. But I got two items and um, I had a cupcake. I haven't had a cupcake in so long. Y'all know I love me a good vanilla cupcake, honey. I asked the lady who like does the parking garage stuff if she would go out and take a picture of me and why did she slay the house down? Like, okay. <laughs> um, I love this outfit. I'm definitely gonna wear it again. I don't know where, but these outfits are, I mean, these pictures are so cute. It was just, it was getting like a little, it just was getting a little awkward. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna leave because like I got my stuff. I wasn't, I don't drink, so like I didn't really care for the drinks at the bar. I'm very like grateful to be invited, very excited. I'm, I'm, I was so excited to get ready for this today and to go, but like once I was there, I was like, so now what do I do? <laughs> I thought there was gonna be food and there's no food. So I'm starving and I'm craving pizza. So I think we're gonna do pizza. Let me tell you guys, my legs look so good. Like 
yesterday's workout was like one of my favorite workouts I've ever done by Growing Anna's I'll have it linked down below it was a strength training but the way that it was like 45 minutes or 40 minutes I can't remember which one but it had like a good warm-up a good strength training that really like pushed me but it wasn't too far to where I was like okay Anna I can't do all of this it was like all right Anna I'm gonna push myself and then um and then it finished with like this amazing like ab workout and I think wearing the waist trainer while doing ab workouts definitely like it makes it like times 10 because I feel my abs today. When you feel your abs sore, you're like, ooh, I feel my abs coming through. Like, I was super excited about that. And I just feel like my looks look super good today. So, I mean, I wish more people could see this outfit. Like, I wish I had somewhere to go. But I do have to wake up early tomorrow morning because we have another March for Babies walk. It's going to be the one in Virginia. And last year, I didn't remember that, like, my mom and my sister went with me. And my mom drove so we were all living together. So, it's like two hours away, almost two and a half hours. So Glory is going to go with me, my work bestie. So in order for us to get there by 9, we have to leave by 7. So I'm really going to just have a very chill early night. That way I can get up early, do a little bit of makeup, and then head there. So I will talk to you guys when Glory is here and we're on our way to March for Babies. Good morning, you guys. <laughs> okay, so this is a lot that's happened since the last time I talked to you. Glory is here, my work bestie. And we're marching for babies right now. <laughs> actually um this is the outfit of the day she's so, <laughs> she's so thank you y'all know that i was like trying to put together all my different um purple outfits for the week but yeah y'all i literally overslept i didn't even tell you about that i did not sleep last night so i overslept and then like glory came and this is like two hours away from us so thank you so much for driving to me yes and we i'm like god we spoke i was thinking like okay we're and we still like got things no we I didn't, knew. We didn't even finish our stories yet. Yes, we still got more to go. I knew. I have so much like going on in life that I knew that I was going to have stuff to update you on. And I'm like, no, this two hours is going to go by fast because we're going to talk. That's but the one thing we have. Yes, we're going to talk. It's actually un uninterrupted. Yeah. So we were talking the whole ride. Um, and then we got here. We were moving a little bit, you know, late because, like I said, I overslept. But we are here for the walk now. And then I guess once we cross the line, um, we're going to take some content. And then, honestly, are you hungry? You want me to feed you? Um, I don't even know what I'm, I'm just like okay. Like, I know it's a lot. We literally just like walk came into it's it's a lot to take I'm in. The walk turnout. So we're right. here. So yeah, we're here at really the Virginia walk. We're in Richmond. <laughs> Last year, you guys remember on the vlogs, and I think I vlogged it now that's on my Instagram. It wasn't as many people who came to this walk. So I thought it was gonna be a smaller crowd, but it's a much bigger crowd this year. Crowd crowd. Yeah, so it's a very like gloomy day. Oh, <laughs> yeah, how to be here? These are these are normal like really so. Anyway, you guys, just wanted to update you on the walk. You can see what it looks like here, and we will check back in with you guys. Gave me a table at this one 
so I showed you guys in a previous vlog that I ended up getting like a banner and I have like some uh, pom-poms and you know just like a little something and I'm okay well if I'm given this opportunity to speak about birth equity for all and maybe like you know book myself at a school or event like to speak to children or you know whoever wherever like I should take the opportunity to so I'm like okay um it's pouring raining <laughs> and uh and nobody could go with me today like my mom is out of town my sister has something to do with church um Jasmine came last weekend. She wasn't available. My brother wasn't available. Boy wasn't available. That's like, that's that, that's it. That's like the five people in my uh, circle right now in D.C., which is why I need to expand my community. So, unfortunately, I'm going to this alone. This is the first time that I'm going to specifically a walk alone. I've been to events alone, March of Dimes events alone, but like specifically a walk, it's like, I don't really know. So, I brought my tripod with me. My trusty dusty tripod because I need to get pictures of me at least at my table um, with my birth equity banner that I, you know, work so hard for. But if it doesn't work out, I won't stress myself out because I do have like a lot of pictures that I can use, you know, in the future. And like March of Dimes is just a small part of the work that I do with birth equity for all. So I'm here to support the team to continue advocacy because I know that it's important, but like. If I don't get any pictures or if I don't get many, like, I won't, I won't stress it out. Anywho, um, I was listening to this new gospel playlist that one of my Meharry sisters shared with me. And I hope you guys can hear me because it is, like, so loud between the road and the rain. And I told you guys I've been feeling a little, like, just a smidge under the weather. Like, not too bad. Like, I feel fine. But, like, then sometimes my nose is, like, a little congested and my throat is a little scratchy. Um, but, like, I feel fine. And sometimes I get a headache. But I feel fine. So I'm just trying to like drink a whole bunch of liquids and being in the rain today probably is going to help it. But anyway, I was listening to um, her gospel playlist that she shared with me, which I love so much because it's a whole bunch of like new songs that like I don't have on my current gospel vibes playlist. And I will have a link down below for you guys because she shares, she has a lot of playlists and she shares with a lot of people. And um, I think I was just vibing listening to the music and I like popped off on my makeup today. Like I kind of did something different. This is the uh, purple set that I showed you guys that I was wearing one day during my vlog. And I was like, I love this set. This would be really cute to wear to a March of Dimes event. So I'm wearing it today. I have like this new, um, it's like the sports bras that are like a little bit longer and it's purple. Isn't this so cute? And I get like a cool tone makeup look to it. And even though today is Sunday, great news is that um, it's our church anniversary, so there's like a special preacher coming to, or pastor coming to preach tonight, and service is actually at 6 p.m. instead of at 11 a.m., so I'm going to go to the walk, drive back, edit the video that you guys saw last week, and get that up. I have a meeting with my um, mentor on Zoom, and then I'm going to head to church, so that's what my Sunday is going to look like, and that'll be the end of this vlog. Y'all, I'm trying to like vlog. I have all this stuff in my hand. And it's raining so much, but they basically are shutting down the walk. It's too much rain, people are leaving. So, so sad. I literally drove an hour to get here and no table for me. Um, I have used the bathroom so bad because I was drinking so much water. And I don't even know if these stores are open because it's so early. Let's see, Sunday, 11 a.m. Oh, I'm like, I could do some shopping on here they have some good stores but it's literally 9 30. i cannot believe i just drove an hour <laughs> and the rain was so bad you guys like my, my car was screaming. okay there was a lot of times i was like i don't know if i'm gonna make it oh my goodness i cannot believe this but yesterday she was like rain or shine it's so hard too because i'm like a classic flake like i love to flake on things I just like, oh, my bed is more comfortable. And I just was so tired. I didn't prepare my bag yesterday. So I really was like, oh, I really don't want to go today. But I showed up and it was canceled. <sighs> so upset. I really wish I could just go shopping right now. That would make me feel a little bit better. But it's too early. Nothing is open. Okay, so the good news is that some of the stores are open. I'm in Burlington now. I don't really see anything that I want, so. But I've been wanting to come and shop around for a while now, so. I guess better to shop around and find nothing. I mean, there is this. I told you guys that I've been looking for 
this like perfect black business dress. I just wanted the ones without sleeves, so I can't decide if I want to get it or not. But it's in my size, so I'm like, maybe I should just let's just get it. That's all I really see though. Heavy like waves, light as the ocean, there's in no closet with seen. I don't know nothing about everything, but I know I need you right here with me. I feel the wave, I feel the motion, yeah, we could pick up the speed. I don't know nothing about everything, but I never regret anything. We can fall, we can fall in love tonight and leave it all. If I could get a, well, a chair. If I could get a chair like this, that was pink. Come on, lighting. So that way, when I film like my videos, I just want like a better chair. That's what I'm looking for. But that's all I really see. If I was like really decorating. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick Ulta haul. I mainly went in there to see if they had the MAC bronzers that I was telling you guys about, the new MAC bronzers. They didn't, but I did see these TikToks about um, this brand called Nemat, and they have these fragrance oils. And basically, if you mix these in with your body oil, they smell really, really good, and they have like aphrodisiac. So I just, I'm really excited because I also really like vanilla musk. Like, that's like, I love that smell. And I also got the roll on. Or this is not a roll on. It is. No, it's not. Whatever. It's the amber oil. So, this is the brand here. Again, it's called Nemat. And um, people are basically like pouring this into their body oil. And then that way, like, it stays with you all day. So, I'm excited about that because y'all know I've been into my fragrances lately. Speaking of, I did go around and smell some. And the Billie Eilish um spray is so good like it reminds me of this sounds crazy but like this cheap spray that i have from target that i put on like every day when i'm just around the house because i love the way that it smells and i don't know if this is a roll-on no this is a small spray just a i think this is called the bougie perfumes the heart elixir that i really like it's like the soft pink bottle not the clear pink bottle and then this is the billy eilish one which i think just smells come on come on Yeah, I like this smell. It's very musky, so a little bit different. Now I'm gonna get myself something to eat. It's like 11.30. I did eat um, oatmeal before I came, but obviously I'm starving now. I'm so tired of this rain. I honestly don't wanna get out the car, but there's like so many food restaurants around here, so I really wanna try something new. I was going to try, you guys, have you heard? I'm sure, that, well, maybe not. Um, you know, there's this YouTuber called Mr. Beast, and he has like his own, um, like, burger place but it is called what is it called uh like a it's a ghost restaurant so it's not actually a restaurant so you can't like go into it but you can get it delivered to you so there's one right around here and so it said that it was open at 11 and that you could pick up there so i was like oh my gosh i'm gonna try mr beast burger i don't know why they have one in coxieville maryland but i was gonna try it out and then unfortunately um as soon as it turned 11 and i like put in to make my order then it said that the one here in coxieville you could only deliver and the one that you could pick up was like five miles away i mean i'm definitely gonna drive more than five miles today so i could do it but i decided that i'm really in the mood for like some shrimp i don't know why very random so i am gonna go to popeye's and get like a shrimp basket and then that way i can get french fries and a biscuit and i'm like Popeyes just always gives me Sunday, you know, like Sundays are for Popeyes. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna make this drive back home. And this song, I'm obsessed with it. It's so 30 minutes later, that was a horrible, horrible, horrible mistake. Horrible mistake. I come to the nearest Popeyes. You know, Popeyes are very like not even hit or miss. They're like ghetto and rude or 
maybe they'll just ignore you. <laughs> the lady was so mean at the daggone, um, at the drive-thru. And you know when like drive-thru people are mean to you, you'll be like, what did I do to you? <laughs> like you're literally, uh, you have a service job. Why are you being mean to me? Cause I'm asking you, a I like, okay, I want the shrimp. I want the ta tackle box. She's like, no more tackle box. I'm like, okay.